Hello everyone, thank you for subscribing to Infoverse Tech where we explore different technologies, ideas including big data, machine learning, AI and others. Today we will be looking at SweetWiz. It's an open source Python library which generates a beautiful visualization of your data and creates an HTML file that can then be navigated um, and, and get a lot of more details about that data. So you can also call it a kickstart exploratory data analysis with just one or two lines of code. So let's jump into um, setting up SweetWiz and um, this is the page where you can download or uh, get more details on this open source Python library. So I'm opening up, um, I have a Jupyter Notebook already open. What I'm going to do is, um, I, since I've already installed SweetWiz, I'll just show you the command to install it and then uh, we can get started. So I will not be running this command because I have already installed SweetWiz. So ideally you will run this command and um, it should install SweetWiz on your system. Since I've already installed it, I'll go ahead and um, start using it. So the first few commands that I write will be to import SweetWiz. As well as Pandas library because we'll be reviewing some uh, data frames. Okay, so now uh, I'm, I'm, I'll be looking at um, electric vehicles um, data set. Mm, I've downloaded it from the internet. I'll post a link where you can also download it. So what I'm the next step I'm going to do is um, read that data. So I have that in a location on my laptop. I'm just going to copy it here. Uh, for you, it will vary. Your location will vary. So here, it's um, uh, for me. It's on my desktop, and the data set is called electric underscore vehicle underscore population underscore data dot csv. Your file location and name may vary. Now the key thing to note here is I have escaped the backslash to be able to be read in in this variable, which is I can name it anything. I just calling it df. Okay, now that's read into. The data set is read into this variable. Uh, the next step is to uh, analyze this. So using SweetWiz, I can analyze data. I can compare two data sets. I can also compare within a data set. So let's say it's a data set for males and females. I can also do a compare intra, uh, you know, comparing within a data set. So today in this short video, we'll just be looking at uh, two of the functionality. One is analyze and the other is compare. So let me first do an, an analysis. So I can call it EV report equals uh, SV. That's for SweetWiz. Analyze dot analyze and our variable which we just read in the, the data set. Let's run that. It's going to do some processing. As you can see it's going through that data set shouldn't take uh, very long it says a small data set of about uh, 50,000 plus vehicles okay so that's ready now so that was the first SweetWiz command I'm going to run the second one and you will see that um, now you have an HTML application generated so let me call it EV report show HTML and I again call it EV report HTML okay and run that and there you go so it generates this beautiful HTML uh, output which uh, where I can get some more details so as an example uh, the top frame is a data frame just provides a summary so you have like 55,000 plus rows of data 
uh, there's no duplicates this is how much memory is taken there are 15 attributes or features five categories and Suite was also able to identify the numerical and the text within your data set so uh, if I hover over the associations um, let, let's pick one of the rows on the left hand side so if I take base MSRP which is manufacturers uh, suggested retail price or the price of that vehicle you can see that uh, there's a lo lot of information can be found in the make and model and which makes sense because uh, model s tesla model s p90 will be you know more expensive than let's say a model 3 um, if you look at the let's look at the city so you can see that majority of the vehicles are registered in Seattle about 19 percent now let's take a look at the model so here you can see that majority of the models in fact 40 percent of the uh, models are 2018 and then this is uh, capturing data from 2010 all the way to 2019 I believe this data set is from 2019 now the other thing that we can take a look in this EV database let's have a look at the electric range so you can see that the electric range uh, varies but um, let's say about 30% uh, of all EV vehicles are they have like a 225 mile electric vehicle range and if you look at the correlation here uh, the first one so that the there's high correlation with the model and again that makes sense if I have a model S 75 that will have a higher range than a model 60 oh, sorry model S 60 right so there's a high correlation with the model with the range so um, a, a different model will have a, a different um, range associated with that let's take a look at the price and how that looks once I have um, clicked on this and you have this red outline I can also you know change the the number of uh, bins they call uh, how it's distributed so you can see that 80% of the you know, the vehicles here are in a certain range while again the correlation is uh, with the with the model so whatever model you have there's a high correlation with the the MSRP suggested retail price and within this box you can see there's some different max uh, maximum range the minimum range for for these vehicles so that was a very quick look at how uh, we just use two lines of code in SweetWiz and were able to explore this data the electric electric vehicle data so let me just close this out and go back to my notebook and let's just compare two data um, in this case I'll be looking at um, a very popular data, data called uh, Titanic data and uh, I'll be using SweetWiz to compare two different data so let me just uh, take a training data which I save into a variable called train and I also take a test data and I save it in a variable called test I can actually name this anything it really doesn't matter just a name now I want to compare these two and data sets so one is a training data set the other is a test and I also want to have a target variable in this case I choose survived so I just want to see uh, when I compare these two data how many people actually survived Titanic so let's uh, enter that command so here you can see that I'm using sp.compare um, I have the train I have the test data and I'm saying the target variable is survived now I already know uh, by looking at the uh, data set that there's a attribute called survived uh, otherwise they just have to take one more step to 
take a look at your data and identify the name of the target variable. So I go ahead and run this. And we should be able to now view that. So it's Titanic report dot show HTML and I can say Titanic report HTML. Let's run that to get our report. Okay, there you go. So um, we, we used a train and t test set. You can see the train training set is, or training data set is more than double the test data. That's fine. Uh, when I look at the association and just look at the first row, survived. So you can see that three factors provide the most imp information about the survival rate, which is uh, the sex of the pa passenger, the class, and the fare. And, and we'll see how uh, this this really correlates with the uh, the whole um, survivability of a passenger. Uh, when we so we remember we chose um, survived as the target variable, and it always shows up as shaded in black. Here we can see that the about 60 60 plus or 62 percent did not survive, while 38 percent did survive. This gives a quick uh, view of the uh, data in terms of the survivability. If you look at the correlation uh, in the corner here, you can see that uh, there's a high co correlation of survivability with the fare. And if you know, all of us have seen that movie, um, the passengers in the upper class or uh, class one, so the, uh, Titanic had three classes, one, two, three. Uh, the passengers in the higher class were able to, or there were more survivors in the higher class. Uh, so let's take a look at some other features here. Looking at the age, um, so when I cl click on the box, it gets highlighted or outlined in red. And uh, in the graph on the right, you can see that the, the target variable chosen draws that line over here. We can see that um, survival rate for people over or around 70 was very little while there, there was high survivability for the other age ranges. Um, let's take a look at the class. As we mentioned, there was um, there were more people who survived paying a higher fare. You can see the correlation here that it's 0.59 so indicating that if you paid a higher fare, you had a higher chance of surviving. Um, and, and that's the way it was. The upper class passengers had easier access to the lifeboats, while the uh, lower class people paying less fare did not fare that well. We can look at the ticket price, um, sorry, the ticket number, the fare, can see that the fare has a high correlation with the class. So higher class, higher fare. Uh, what else can we see here? Um, we looked at age, we looked at sex. If you look at the at sex, um, you can see that uh, females had a higher, higher rate of surviving. So uh, this is it. It's, it's a quick overview of SweetWiz. A very powerful open source Python library that uh, allows you to do exploratory data analysis on your data uh, in, in just one or two lines of code. So I look forward to your comments and stay tuned for uh, more videos and um, I'll be publishing in this area. Thank you very much for watching.